All right, we are back with the GH6. Should be a very quick video just to show you how to activate image stabilization on your GH6. But it depends on what lens you have. I could, I would consider this a manual lens in my opinion, because the adapter doesn't have any electronics in it. It's not a speed booster. Um, so I would consider this, uh, you know, a manual lens. So if you have like a Panasonic native Lumix lens, or if you have, um, one of the Leica lenses, of course, automatically the stabilization will just kick in. Um, of course, you would have to switch it on in the camera, but you know, there's some, there's some things that you have to go through when you switch on the camera, if you have a manual lens attached to your GH6. Let's go in and see. So when I switch this on, something pops up. Um, a notification comes uh, below. Lots of information is set. You know, it gives you an option to set um, the focal length of the lens that you've attached to the GH6 so that you can get better stabilization. And the only way you can change the focal length is when you go to yes, and then pick one of those numbers uh, and assign a specific focal length that you could go with. Um, it's just for better stabilization so the camera knows what focal length is going with so it could give you better stabilization for your GH6. All right, let's jump right in. So if you wanna switch on the stabilization, by default when the camera comes, the stabilization is switched off. Just go to the menu right here um, and then go within the video tab because of a bunch of tabs here. But so within the video tab, uh, you go in and go all the way down to that option that looks like a camera with a, a bunch of dots, like three dots. That's where you go. You go in and move to image stabilizer. And then you see it's off. off. So the only way you can know this off when operational mode says off, you go uh, into that option and then select that hand thingy, that hand gesture. Boom, and then your stabilization is on. So that's pretty decent already, the fast uh, version of stabilization. You can switch it on, it's already, it already works awesome. But if you need extra, if you don't have an easy rig, if you don't have like a shorter rig and you just have your fingers, or you just have your hands, um, all you have to do is just to go to Boost IS, switch it on, and that will give you awesome image stabilization. It's it's unbelievable. So we're just gonna see a few samples and those samples will show you the difference between Boost IS and the regular uh, image stabilization. I think for me, it's, since I'm a video creator, the Boost IS works for me, you know, depending on what you're shooting. So in that sense, we, yeah, let's go check out some examples outside. Mm -hmm. 